What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind guy. My name is Ross Miner, and if you're new to the channel, yes, I am completely blind, and today I'm making this video to pretty much cel celebrate Global Accessibility Awareness Day. And this is kind of the first time I've ever done this. I've I've always liked seeing people tweet about it in the past years, and I figured, you know what, why not? I'll celebrate it today. Um, so yeah, this is why I'm making this video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys my Animal Crossing Island, but specifically, I'm making it to be as accessible and inclusive as possible. So I'm gonna be giving a tour of the island and just kind of explaining my thought process and kind of the strategies I've been using to make this island accessible. And the, the goal is to possibly if like game developers are watching this be like kind of a fun little thought experiment. Be like, look, this is how you can make uh, a game accessible and still make it look natural like like it's built into the game you know it doesn't have to take away from the game at all that's kind of what i've been going for um because i could i mean i'll get to this later but yeah anyway if you guys like this video hit that like button subscribe let me know what you guys think down below in the comments you know uh really share this video we we really want to get out there on a global accessibility awareness day and just kind of do do our part for sure you know be part of the movement anyway so we're at the very beginning of my island on the dock and cool nothing accessible about that well the first thing i have are these two tiki torches around the dock so i know where they are and right now the island is designed to be as accessible for blind people but i don't want to stop there i want to make it accessible for people with motor impairments or people who are are colorblind or just visually impaired you know because like there's a lot of things you can customize. Like I can make all these pathways like bright yellow, you know, to make it easier for, for people uh, who are visually impaired to uh, follow. Um, so there's there's ways I can do that because right now Animal Crossing has zero accessibility options. So anyway, off from that tangent. So I have these two torches around the dock so I can hear them. It's a small fire sound. You may not even be able to hear on the video. Let's see. Right there very quiet but it's just a nice little effect and then i go onto this dirt path and it's important er, there we go it's important because up here there's the square but that's stone so all the paths down on this portion are going to be dirt so you can actually tell and i made them wide enough so they're pretty easy to follow but okay so keep in mind my island is still under construction this is nowhere near complete i've been working on this for like a month and I still got so much work to do um because you know I'm not playing 24 7 like I did back in April um so there's eventually going to be a path here but essentially at every intersection I needed a way for a blind person to realize that there was an intersection there and so I put these fountains there and you can actually hear them if you have headphones on obviously if you don't have headphones on I would suggest putting them on but I'm walking around it right now and so I can hear where there's an intersection so the more paths I make the more I'm going to put those there and I kind of do the same um later on in my island I'll show you that but then over here is a square it's all stone you can tell that there's no more dirt like this right here um and right here I have a fountain to kind of tell me that I'm in the square area unfortunately you can't put a fountain on the actual square which is why I made that um, into like a big rectangle so I can put that fountain there for a landmark. All right, so now up here I have a path leading to my manor or my fortress or whatever you want to call it and uh, around the bridge I have two waterfalls to let blind people know kind of where the entrance to my castle is and I'm a huge fan of sound cues especially in this island because let's say I'm walking along um, I can hear my, my, the waterfalls from, you know, a few tiles away, so I don't have to add, exactly be right on it to know where I am, which is really useful. It's kind of makes the walking, exploring more fluid for me and other blind people. And so moving on, let's see what else I have. Oh, let me just scooch my way over if I, oh, geez, I got myself lost. Here, I'll just do this. There we go. Okay. So over here i have my orchard and i did the best i could i'm not I, i'm sure i messed up somewhere but i tried to space out all of the trees um in a pattern essentially so i think it was three tiles apart and the reason why i did this is because when you start out the island you walk around and there's just trees scattered everywhere so it's kind of a pain especially when you have your axe out for blind players to 
find the tree and then have to hit it with your axe because if you're not right on the tree it'll just swing the axe and it'll pause and is it, it takes a long time and so knowing where all the trees are knowing where they're going to be is very very useful which is why i kind of space them out like that okay so we're now on the outside of the moat of my manor and so on the corners i also have a fountain or a homemade fountain it's essentially a waterfall that I put so I know that I'm on the corner of the moat because otherwise the water doesn't really make a very loud sound because like right here there's no waterfalls it's not very loud and so putting them on the corners will let me know when the moat is turning which is very useful for me because over here on the very end of each side of the moat I have a cool little waterfall just for decoration but then this is also a, a feature exclusive to blind people believe it or not but I have a secret passage back here, and if I'm correct, Sam has told me, Sam is my girlfriend, she has told me that you can't really see it. Like, it's not very noticeable if you can see. Um, so yeah, and it's pretty easy for a blind person to kind of notice because it, the sound, like, it sounds like you're behind the waterfall. That's the best way I can describe it. If you have headphones on, you'll know what I mean. But that is a very, very cool little trick right there. Okay, so right here, I'm outside of one of my villager's houses. And this one I've kind of pretty much fully decorated. And what I've done to kind of let me know it's a house is I have these shrubs around the, the, the patio, I guess you could say, which is around the house. And the reason why I have these shrubs here is because when you run into them, um, they make a sound. So I, like that, if you, can, if you guys can hear that. And, but another great thing about this is that it's one of the few items that you can run into and not accidentally pick up. So like I could press the pick up button, but it's not gonna pick it up. Um, and it's the same with cliffs, but again, cliffs don't look as natural looking, which is why I have these shrubs here. Cause now it, it, it definitely looks like it fits into the island. Like it, it would it would look kind of weird if I just had this whole thing surrounded by a bunch of cliffs. Um, so that's why I have these shrubs here. Now here's one of my villagers houses. And essentially I have an AC unit in the air around um or yes it's not in the air but it's on a cliff next to the house and that lets me know there's a house there because otherwise it's really really easy to miss them um so that way whenever a blind person comes over to my island um, they'll easily be able to find the villagers houses i'm planning i'm probably going to surround all the villagers houses with like fencing and stuff like that and then put the ac unit on the inside to make it look again more natural looking because like right now look at it, it's just <laughs> it's just way up there so um yeah like like I said, this place is still under construction. And one little note, I know I say that, you know, whenever a blind person uh, uh, visits my island, it's like, okay, well, how many blind people are actually gonna be visiting your island? And um, I've actually gotten a lot of people to start playing this. So that's kind of the whole reason for this. And, and, and again, I have other friends with disabilities and that's why I want to make this as inclusive as possible. All right, so this is the last place I'm gonna show you guys and this will almost complete our tour, but this is pretty much, the inside of my castle and castle manor. I tried to make a castle. I hope I did a good job, but um, essentially, yeah. So obviously we have kind of a pathway and a courtyard right here. And then I have a big old fountain in the middle of it because why would I not have that? But I also have two campfires on either side of the wall um, to kind of, again, like an entryway, but the campfires are a bit louder than the tiki torches so you can really really hear those here i'll get close like right there you can hear that and then i wanted a nice little pond right here and this is a cool little feature because fishing in ponds is kind of a pain because you have to really angle yourself um and so i made a very symmetrical pond and then i put stone around it to know i'm on the edge and then i put this fountain right here because it looks cool but also i can use the sound to to know which way I'm angling for a fish. So it's like, if I cast, uh, like right there, and I, I didn't get a fish to nibble, I can angle myself that way according to the sound of it. Okay, I know where I am. Um, Cause again, it's very difficult to do blind, so that's why I have that there. But I think that essentially completes the tour of my island. Um, it's not a ton, but I've been working on it for a while, so I'm already pretty proud of it. And there's still a lot more to do. Again, 
for anyone else who has a different disability, you know, I really want to make this, um, this is the ninth Global Accessibility Awareness Day, so I want to make it a good one. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to make it accessible for other disabilities, like color blindness, again, I want to make the pathways probably a different color, um, maybe like a universal one, because I know color blindness isn't, or not color blindness, but just stuff like that isn't very universal, you know, everyone has their specific needs, but you know, we got to work within our limitations. But anyway, yeah, that's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do like this video, please share this video, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.